Here we will cover the do while loop. Just have a theory part of do while. While loop we have just seen evaluates a test condition before the loop gets executed. Hence the body of loop may not get executed at all once test condition evaluates to false at first attempt. In some situations it might necessary to execute the body of loop once before the test condition is evaluated. These situations can be handled by do while loop. The statement associated with do while loop are always gets executed at least once. This is because the test condition is evaluated at the end. This loop perform the action in following sequence. First the body of loop gets executed. Second test condition gets evaluated. If condition evaluates to false loop terminates and control is transferred to first statement immediately after loop. If condition evaluates to true then body of loop gets executed again. Evaluates test condition. It repeats the process till condition gets false. We have seen the theory concept of do while loop. Just have a practical look on a do while example. Here we will complete the program accepting any number from the user and check whether the given number is Armstrong or not. Hope you are familiar with the Armstrong number. Armstrong number is the number whose sum of the cube of each digits is equal to the number itself. So how to create this program? Just have a look. We will declare the variables total four variables we have taken here num, sum, remainder and i. Number variable will used to accept any value. Fine. Inside i variable we will initialize the value of num. Now the syntax of do while loop is the keyword do <coughs> sorry we have to type open the braces just hold a remainder of i as we are using modulus operator here next time sum equals to sum plus remainder into remainder into remainder as Armstrong number is the number whose sum of the cube of each digit is equal to the number of itself i equals to i divided by 10 here we complete the do the ending of do is while means continue with executing the above three lines which is declared inside do loop till i greater than 0 after while semicolon should be there previous examples we were not specifying the semicolon to while loop but here when you we use do a while should end with a semicolon suppose if sum equals to use a comparison operator here sum equals to num then we have to print the number is the Armstrong number
in else part it is not is not the armstrong number see here first we were just initializing the value of num into i then suppose if you enter the value 153 here inside num then 153 will be hold inside i then 153 divided by 10 whatever remainder you will get will be stored under rem variable then sum by default we have declared 0 so 0 equals to 0 plus remainder the above value which we were getting plus rem three times we are multiplying that number next we have to hold a quotient i equals to i divided by 10 these three lines should be executed till i is greater than 0 and if the value matches with sum the number which we have entered matches with a sum variable value then that number will be a armstrong number else it is not we will just have a preview run the program by pressing control f9 fine see here if you enter 121 is not the armstrong number once again if you run the program press 153 see is the armstrong number means you should get the value 153 after adding multiply all the three numbers means 1 into 1 into 1 then 5 into 5 into 5 then 3 into 3 into 3 after multiplying and adding these values the number should come 153 those numbers are armstrong number so we have created the program to display armstrong numbers Thanks a lot for watching HIIT computer tutorials